It should say that I'm playing Chrono Trigger now. Oh shit, I clicked Plot Tower! <laughs> Oops, I loaded the wrong... I loaded the wrong ISO. <laughs> None of you said anything, what the hell? I clicked the wrong one because they're right next to each other on my list. <laughs> Oops! <laughs> no, we're not playing Clock Tower. <laughs> no, not playing Clock Tower, no. before I start playing, okay? <laughs> Hi, Goku! Like, seriously. Chrono looks like a redhead of Goku. He looks exactly like a redhead of Goku. It's not just because they're drawn by the same dude. No, he is designed like a red-headed Goku. The most noble of frogs. Oh, the DBZ movies. Um, I've only seen a handful of the DBZ. I haven't seen that one, I don't think. Da -da -dun. Da -da -dun. Oh, except that, that particular dude, he looks like Galleon. Oh yeah, that I don't know. I've never seen any of the future trunks. Funny for a cinematic like this, that there's no voice acting. Not even any grunts or anything. No! I still don't know what you're talking about, Dresden. <laughs> I get it. It's part of deep it's a character from DBZ. I have not seen it. The only DBZ movies that I've seen are um Brawly and um, Goku's dad. What was his name? I can't remember what his name was. Whoever Goku's dad was. <laughs> Those are the only two DBZ movies I've seen, and I only saw them like years ago when I was a kid. Literally have not even watched any of the episodes in um, 15 years. <laughs> oh, whoops. I'm so used to pressing circle to enter instead of exit because of um, Xenosaga. Give us sort of present trunks. Did it, dude? That future trunks got a sword from, but he gave us sword to present trunks. Oh, okay. Can I play this game with one hand? <laughs> Let us see. What's up, bruh? More guests. 
What do you mean, guest? And where are we? Why, this is the end of time, of course. All lost travelers in time wind up here. Now, where are you from? I'm from Guardia Kingdom, circa 1000 AD. I come from 2300 AD. And four more beings step into a time warp. The conser conservation of time theorem states that they will turn up at the space-time coordinates of the last resistance. Here. Least resistance. Disturbances in the space-time continuum have their have increased recently. Far too many folks are just popping in here. I fear something is having a powerful effect on the very fabric of time. I... Which means one of us has to remain here. What? Stay here? Alone? It's pretty bleak here. But not to worry. All time periods connect here. You can visit your friends whenever you wish, but you can never travel in groups greater than three. That's rude. So one of us must stay. Who will it be, Chrono? Okay, chat. Who's staying behind? Chat, who's staying behind? Robo, Marl, or Luca? Okay, that's one vote for leaving behind Luca. Anybody else? Come on, there's eight people watching. There's gotta be more of you with more opinions. Come on, you lurkers. Guy in the third slot. I can't put the old man in this. What? No, this is Marl. She's a white mage healer. This is Luca. Sort of like a gun mage. This is Robo. He's a robot. And he's a tank. So by guy in the third slot, do you mean Robo? Robo in, Luca out. Okay. Gun person. Well, the gun person would be Luca. Luca's the one with the gun. Don't you go getting ideas, mister. So there you have it. Don't forget, press a square button to switch party members. How do we get back to our time? And see the lovely pillars of light? Those will keep to different arrows. Once you've been through a gate, you can always use it to come here. To use a gate from here, step onto the light and press X. But beware, the gate which leads from that bucket. What? You mean this bucket? No, I want to look at it. Hey! What? Hey! What's up? Lock shut. Uh, game? I don't get it. Okay. gotta take a peek inside the room behind me. Oh, now it'll let me through. Um. What are you looking at? I'm Specko, the master of war. I've seen all kinds of battles from here. How do I look to you guys? Weak. <sighs> I see. Let me put it this way. If you're strong, I look strong. If, I, if you're weak, I look weak. Rude. You're strong of will. That's why the old one let you through. Long before you were born, there's a kingdom where magic flourished. Everyone there can use it. 
But in time, began, people began to abuse their powers. It got so bad that one, that no one was allowed to use magic except wizards. But you have it. Determination, I mean. Magic needs power of the heart. It needs inner strength. Magic is divided into four types. Lightning, fire, water, and shadow. Ow. You with the punk hairdo, you're lightning. The one with the ponytail is water. That's the biggest toy I've ever seen. Hey, you're not alive, are you? You've got great strength, however. Since I can't measure your inner character, I can't give you any, any magic to you. But your laser weapons will survive. They can inflict shadow type damage. Okay. <laughs> Doom, 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 I. He's like gyrating now. <laughs> Bro, are you okay? Bro. No cheating. I'm walking. Wait, what? From the door, clockwise along the wall three times. Oh, okay. some tea or like actual tea I don't get it <laughs> the fuck do you want from me dude <laughs> What? Okay. <laughs> I don't know how that was different than any of the other times. <laughs> so fucko minimo magico. Jonah learns how to use magic. Learns how to use magic. She already knew how. The robot can't use magic. Oh, lightning. Okay. He can use ice. He can't use shit. Okay. Oh, 
Well, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. He actually killed me! Okay, did he? Okay, no, he didn't kill me. Good. <laughs> I was about to say! I'd be rude. I thought he killed me. Hey. What? Well, well, people who lived long ago enjoyed such powers. Now, I knew you were itching to go ripping back and forth through time, but first you need to return to your era, and you must hurry. The longer you remain here, the harder it will be to change that which must be changed. Okay. So you need to go back to Chrono's time. Ramen? Ooh, yum. So the middle one's gonna be the present? No. That's the future. What the fuck? <laughs> 65 million BC? I'm going out of the closet all over a scram! Wait a sec. In a village was founded by the ancestors of the mystics who lost a war to the human beings. Most mystics hold a grudge against humans. Be careful! There's an odd man who lives near the cave in the mountains to the west. You might enjoy a chat with him. Thanks! Why are you being so nice? Mystics aren't supposed to get along with humans. Humans fought the mystics over 400 years ago. My motto is forgive and forget, but not many seem to agree with me. Thanks. <laughs> so we have to go west? Oh, I guess like music changed. <gasps> Melchior's hut. Wait a minute. Why is that name familiar? Oh shit! It's the dude who tried to buy the pendant off me. Ah, hello. Could I interest you in a weapon? Sure. Mm. I have a sneaky suspicion that if I buy something from him, I'm just gonna immediately gonna find it like last time. <laughs> Marl who needs this. Yeah. It's a game for the SNES era. Was it originally SNES? I thought it was originally um uh PlayStation. Was there an SNES version? That came out before? The first version I knew about was the PlayStation one. Which is this one. This is the PlayStation version. Oh okay. So it's like Final Fantasy VI, where it came out for the SNES and then it came out for, um, PS1. There's well, there be no need for weapons. What a sad state of affairs. I'm sure the need arise. Okay.
It's not a might have metal. I'm literally playing the um, PlayStation version. I'm not playing the SNES version. And I own Final Fantasy VI both on um, PlayStation and SNES. But yeah, the PlayStation version of Chrono Trigger, I don't know if, if there's a dedicated one, but it's part of the Final Fantasy anthology? I can't remember if it's Anthology or Chronicles has Chrono Trigger, which is the version I'm playing. I didn't do it. Chrono, what's that weird chanting? Mm. Bruh. Bruh. Sound 110 moves on this nest and us. Jesus! <laughs> Bruh. Hut Sir Magus. Okay. Since Magus commanded the mystics and waged a war against the humans. When Lavos is awakened, all humans are doomed. So they worship Lavos? As soon as Magus' is creation, the mighty Lavos awakens from his long sleep. The human race is doomed! Be imported from the US. There is an English SNES cart, I'm pretty sure. I think. I think there's a. I think it was released on this. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think it was released on the SNES in the US. I might be wrong there, but. Of course, Final Fantasy VI was originally released as Final Fantasy III here. I'm not exactly sure where I'm supposed to go. No release in Europe. I'm pretty sure they do now le at least bare minimum through like PSN and stuff, but maybe. I don't know. I don't know if they have PAL versions. Wait, what am I thinking about? There's a really good, there's a really easy way for me to check this. Hold on. <laughs> I actually have an app on my phone that tells me this kind of shit. Chigger is is on the PAL Nintendo DS. It was released in Europe. Um, the Nintendo DS version has a European version. Yeah. It was on the PlayStation in Japan and Okay, it's not listing it as being Amer an American release, but it was released under Okay, you know what? I'm gonna grab the disc because it's gonna bug me. It's gonna bug me. Um, but yes, there was not there was a PAL Nintendo DS version. Um, hold on, I have to check something, this is gonna bug me. <laughs> Final Fantasy Chronicles, Chrono Trigger. Oh, I meant on the SNES. Yeah, on the SNES? Um... Yeah, on the SNES, it was both... U.S.? A U Damn! A loose U.S. cart of Chrono Trigger costs 150 bucks. And it's fucking 400 450 if it's complete in box. That's nuts! It's nuts! Yeah, the, it looks like Europe only got the Nintendo DS version, and let me see if they got Chronicles. It has Hella Collectible. Um, they didn't. Yeah! It looks like the only version of it that was released in PAL regions is, um... Nintendo DS and Steam. Because remember, Chrono Trigger is available on Steam now. 
I don't want to eat this onto my bed because I have a bunch of metal stuff on my bed and I don't want to break it. <laughs> I don't want to break the case. Yes, yes, I know. The Steam version is terrible, but it's on there and it can be gotten by people in Europe. That's the point. From what I've heard, though, the, um, the Steam version has gotten better from what I've heard. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I heard that it got better. Please. Oh, you're gonna teach him a lesson, boss! Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him! I have his Metroid box guide. Yeah. I saw a copy of Final Fantasy Mystic Quest at um, the game store I was at yesterday when I got Xenogears. By the way, I own Xenogears now. I mean, anybody who knows my YouTube channel should know what the most expensive game I own is. The rarest and most expensive game in my game collection. I'll sell something to you. <laughs> This is your this is your um, chance to guess. Can anybody remember what the most expensive game in my game collection is? I know it's not Xenosaga Episode Three, even though that game for some reason is now worth like a hundred and twenty dollars without the case. Just loose. Hold up. Oh wait, I can't buy that. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna sell to me, but he's gonna price gouge the crap out of me. Got it. To me, JRP, um, RPG release in the 90s for the SNES. True. A lot of um, RPGs are released. It is kind of surprising that um, Europe never got Final Fantasy Chronicles. Because of the fact that they didn't get a lot of releases um, of, of RPGs, it is kind of weird that they didn't get Chronicles. I mean, I don't. I didn't check if they got Anthology or... Um, there's there's Anthology Chronicles, and there's a third one that's like a collection desk. Um. I'm not sure where the game wants me to go. I've never played Secret of Mana or Secret of Evermore. I have a list of SNES games I want. Um. So maybe one of these days. I can do it. Death to the Mystics enemies! What? I didn't do nothing! Rude. <laughs> can you spell soon? Can you? Nortili! <laughs> you did that on purpose, didn't you? But no, nobody's guessed what the most expensive game in my game collection is. I'll give you a hint. I've let's played it. I 
I wish I had a <laughs> Oh no, poor dude. Uh oh. Um, rude. Bruh. Dragon Age? No! Charm. Dra you can buy a copy of Dragon Age for like five bucks. I'll try again. I actually have two copies of Final Fantasy IX. I have a black label and I have a greatest hits. <laughs> I actually have two copies of it. Um. <gasps> it's one of the few games I actually have double copies of. The other games that I have double copies of, um, I'm probably gonna sell on eBay or something. But not that one, because it is technically different different versions, quote unquote, because one of them is the greatest hits, one of them is the black label. I technically have two versions of Final Fantasy VII as well, but one of them is missing a disc and half of the case. They're both misprints, though. They're both black label misprints. Um, but one of them is missing the half of the case, like the front half of the case, so you can only see the misprint part on the back. <laughs> but... Oh, there were some bucks then. Yeah. I need to double check them to make sure that they're legitimate misprints. Um... Because that can be decently easy to fake. But if one, if um, if the one that's the broken case and only has the back of the case is a legit misprint, then I'll probably just sell it for like five, ten bucks. Because again, it's just half of the freaking case. <laughs> I can't remember how it got that way. It wasn't- th it didn't get that way when I got it. Um... Cause I think it was some- a friend was offloading some stuff on me. But again, none of you guys have guessed yet! I- I haven't heard any guesses. I haven't heard any guesses about what do you guys think my, um, the most expensive and rarest game in my collection is. Xenosaga. It is not Xenosaga. Any of the three. Even though the one that's quote-unquote rare is the third one, specifically. Um, one and two haven't gone up in price as much. But no, it's not Xenosaga. I need to game my own is price. I two? That's not the rarest PS1 game I own. Keep going! I believe in you guys. I believe you. <coughs> I just choked on a soybean. <coughs> there we go. I muted the microphone because I didn't want to um, completely get rid of your guys' uh, hearing.
Oh shit. <laughs> You guys give up yet? I believe in you guys. Or you can just give up and I'll go get the game and show you. <laughs> Because the great thing, I use an app called C, I think it's CLR, to track my game collection, and it tells me which is the most, um, r the rarest and the most expensive games I have. It's actually on it. Well, that didn't do shit! <laughs> Pointed. That doesn't look like anybody has guessed what the, um, which one it is. It should be obvious. If you're an avid watcher of my channel, it should be obvious. It's not subtle. The what game charmed? Excuse? We go nettle got it um yeah nettle got it nettle wins Yes, the rarest and most expensive game I own is Rule of Rose. I know of that's set in the UK, but it was never released in the UK. There's no PAL reach there's no PAL version of the game. Um I think. I don't think there is. Um at least there wasn't in the UK because it was banned in the UK. Um it had a whole bunch of controversy with it because 
of quote, quote unquote depictions of underage sexuality and lesbianism. But to somebody who's played the game like 30 times is not really what's on it. <laughs> like, sure, there's implications of characters, you know, being in love with each other. And, you know, outright saying, you know, some of the characters are in love with each other. And yes, they're children, but there's no like... And there's like implied, implied sexual assault as well. But nothing's explicit in the game. Okay. It doesn't play the game? Oh, hell no. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to tell where I can and can't go here. There we go. But no, here, I'll go get them and I'll show them to you. I'll get the, uh, according to the app that I use, CLR, for tracking my games, um, we'll see what the most, the rarest and the most expensive games are on my, in my collection right now, and I'll show them to you guys. Okay. And, oh, and by the way, let's see if you can guess in chat what one of them is because I fucked up earlier and accidentally loaded its ISO into the emulator. Okay. Here they are. Yes, you got it right, Charmed. Okay. Number five. I'll have to do a video about this, but number five. My copy of Lunar Eternal Blue. Complete in box. Though, honestly, I don't know if the prices that they're talking about mean complete in box as in this complete in box, or if it means complete in box as in the CD case, but if it's just the CD case, then this is even more rare, but if it's this entire thing, then yeah. This is number five. Which, technically, I've never finished a playthrough of this game. The first one is one of my favorite games of all time, but I've never actually finished a playthrough of this one. Okay, number four... could um, be still an open, yeah. Well, that's even more expensive. That's a couple hundred dollars. That's called um, new, like new or sealed, but. Yeah, you were right, Charmed. This one's number four. A damn near mint condition black label copy of Clock Tower. And then the next one. It has a crack on the case, however. And I need to clean out the back of it. Um, should I do it? Okay. Um, 
This one's number three. Codelta. Which is the precursor to Shadow Hearts, which I also have. The only Shadow Hearts game I'm missing is I don't have New World. Um, but I have Covenant and I have the first one, which honestly, Kodelka, Shadow Hearts, and Shadow Hearts Covenant are a contained story. New World doesn't really have anything to do with these ones. And the only thing that's wrong with this one is it has a crack on the back of the case and it has a small crack on the front. Technically, I never bought this game. <laughs> My friend Gina, my friend Regina, who I sometimes raid because she's just started becoming a streamer. Technically, this is her copy. <laughs> I borrowed it from her in high school and we just never, like, never, never give it back. <laughs> she just forgot that I had it and I forgot that I borrowed it and it ended up in a box for like a decade. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and then we have Haunting Ground. A complete inbox, um, good quality version of Haunting Ground. I say is the disc completely flopped off. I might get the disc resurfaced. It's pretty much fine, but it has a little bit of a ring issue because of, um, uh, hopefully I can get that buffed out and get that fixed, but it still works completely fine. And then, uh, the big one. It is static like running water. You are correct, Charm. That's in the game. See? It's in the game. And the big one. This game is my child. <laughs> this game is my baby! Yeah. I do need to clean it because it has a little, some, scru some scuff marks on it. Because, again, I bought this game new for $20 when I was in um, high school. So way before it became rare, sought after. No, 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 the babies can be my bunnies, too. Babies can be my... The bunnies can be my babies, too. It's just all of them are my babies. But, yeah, I have quite a few, quote-unquote, expensive games, like Xenogears now, um, Xenosaga... But yeah, these ones are the most expensive ones in my collection. And I did not buy any of them at the expensive quote-unquote price. Because remember, I got Haunted Ground and Rube of Rose, and they were still relatively new. I think I can't remember how much I paid for Haunted Ground, but it couldn't have been more like 15 bucks. Rule of Rose, I, I remember distinctly paying 20 Um, Eternal Blue, I think I, I think I paid 50 um, for Eternal Blue. And then Clock Tower, I think I got it as part of a lot. So I didn't even buy it on zone. I got it as a part of a lot of a couple games. And Kodelka, I didn't buy. <laughs> Tally, I'm slightly impressed. <laughs> it's fine. No. Bargains are rare, they are. But it is kind of funny that of the five biggest games that I have, or most expensive games that I have, I did not pay hardly anything for any of them. <laughs> There is one game, though, that I would kill to get my hands on. I did not heal. Fuck. Um... I didn't heal. <laughs> I forgot to heal at that safe point. I should have known that there was gonna be a boss fight. This is there's a safe point right there. bum ba dum bum bum ba dum
Okay. So Robo's not really helpful in this fight. So I'm gonna relegate Robo to healing duty since he can he can't be a secondary healer. Shit, he's out of MP. Um, he's an Aether. Oops! This is gonna end well. I'm gonna die here. I'm just gonna die. This is fine. Yeah, fuck. What do you think of arcades? Well, it is an SNES game, so SNES quality. Though it probably sounds better because of PS1, but. you doing? You like Chrono Trigger? This is my first time playing it. So I don't know what I'm doing. You missed me um, showing chat the most expensive games in my game collection. Thank you for the follow, Cage. Leave him alone! <laughs> I name it. I'm playing it on an emulator. I have physical copies of it, actually. I do have physical copies. In fact, I technically have two physical copies of this game. Because I have Final Fantasy Chronicles and I have um, Final Fantasy Chronicles Chrono Trigger Disc. So I have two copies of Chronicles, but one of them only has one of the discs. Um. But yeah, I'm using the EPSXE emulator. I've got to get some fucking ether on people. <laughs> Um, only mods can- only mods can use the uptime commands. Um... I completely forgot the commands was a th um, exclamation mark commands was a thing. But yeah, uptime's only available for mods at the moment. I don't know if I'm modding. 
but I've been streaming for about three hours. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, fuck. Chrono! Light him up. Yeah, you can see what my up 10 is underneath the video as well if you're on a um, browser. I don't know if you can on the app. Yes, indeed! <laughs> okay, dude. There. Motherfucker! <laughs> I only have one revive left. I, I still might die here unless I kill him soon. I mean, kind of my fault for starting the fight, or for um, having the fight happen when I was still uh, hella injured. Brief counterattack break. This'll do. If I defeat this guy, it's gonna be a fucking miracle. How much HP do you have? Bruh. Bruh. Wait, did I do it? Yay! It's a miracle! <laughs> it's a miracle! If only Great Magnus, who brought forth Lavos 400 years ago, had destroyed the human race. The world would have belonged to us mystics. I... You dead, bruh? In the Middle Ages, Mag Magus created Lavos, who was responsible for destroying this planet's future. If we go to the Middle Ages and destroy Magus, can we change history? Hey, Chrono, we could use the gate at the fairgrounds. In the 90s, everything exploded. You're not wrong. You're definitely not wrong. <laughs> Message coming in. <clears throat> Patching it through. Is that <clears throat> of course that happens as I'm eating something. Hello! <laughs> oh! Hello! 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 Oh god, how do I pronounce this username? Mahalomi is rated with a party of 13. Welcome to the stream, you guys. I am playing Chrono... Cr 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 mm. Can't stop. I can't talk. I'm playing Chrono Trigger! <laughs> what were you playing? Is the content we've all been wishing for? <laughs> I've never played this game. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, what were you guys playing? I've been a huge JRPG fan, but I haven't really streamed a lot of them. And this game has been- I literally have two copies of this game. And it's been sitting on my bookshelf for ten years. <laughs> And I've never played it. <laughs> but we're playing it now. So what were you guys playing? Ten years, no shame? Yep. Um, so what were you guys playing over there? Are you also playing Chrono Trigger? 
No, I have a lot. Like, I have all of the Final Fantasy games up through um, Final Fantasy XII, and I've only played half of them. Oh, they were also playing Chrono Trigger for the first time? Awesome. Yes, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm running around probably getting people shot. And for those who are new, for those from the raid, down here, this one, the white one, is Tally. And behind her, you can't see him very well because he blends in because he's gray, is Garrus. And up here, you can see their little butts right up there. That's Edward and Alphonse. They're chinchillas. This is Kim said his fam. Yeah, I have, um, actually, funny story. The reason I have the limit on my Nightbot that I do is, um, I don't know, if, I think my mod Dresden remembers this. It's from a specific incident. <laughs> um, when, when Fallout 4 was first released, I did a day one stream of it. So I streamed it on the day it was released. And my chat got um, hate bombed by a bunch of trolls who were trying to get my channel banned. Um, and they all, I don't know if they all came from like a specific Reddit or what happened, but they were all using like, and we connected my phone, hello! I was just relaying the story about why my Nightbot has a certain limit on um, characters. It's because um, at a Fallout 4 stream when I first streamed Fallout 4 when it was released, um, a bunch of trolls from Reddit or something tried to get my account banned, and as a safety measure after that, I have a limit on um, how much like, emotes and stuff that can be posted in a message at once. <laughs> but yes, did you have fun with Chrono Trigger? How far have you gotten? I don't know where the hell I'm going. So... <laughs> So I have to get back to the Millennial Fair, but I don't know how to get there from here. Yes. Very, um, very far. Your day, um, not very far on Darwin. Oh, cool! Yeah, I think this is the third or fourth stream that I've done Chrono Trigger, because on Saturdays, days like this, I spend the first two hours doing artwork for the video game I'm making and the second two hours for streaming Chrono Trigger. Feel about cheesecake? Cheesecake is delicious, even though I can't have most of it anymore. <laughs> um, and I was just, uh, mahalo me, I was just introducing the bunny cam to your raiders. The white one is Tally. The gray one that you can't really see, who's a lop-eared bunny that sort of blends in behind Tally, is Garrus. And up here are the two chinchillas, Edward and Alphonse. What game are you making? I'm making an RPG. I'm making a pixel art, sprite-based, um, JRPG-style RPG. Okay, so if that goes... That goes to Medina. That goes to the Proto-Dome. Goes to Mystic Mountain. I need to get back to the Millennial Fair, though. Seems hat on the table. Can I? All by yourself? Yes. It's probably gonna take me like 10 years because honestly, the coding doesn't take too long. The coding's not the problem. It's making the art assets because I have to do every frame of animation, every like pixel art image, um, every sprite. That's what's taking forever. It's to the day of Lavos. Go there. You're looking to achieve a shorter lifespan. Lavos will help you. Okay, so that goes to Lavos. But how the fuck? Because this goes to the Proto Dome. This goes to Mystic Mountain. Is there a way that I can get from Medina Village to back to the Millennial Fair? Thank you for the follow game, dude! 
as five or similar services for the art. I thought about that, but I want to keep I want to keep the vision and the art style consistent, so I'm doing all of the artwork myself as well as all of the coding myself. Here, to show you guys an example, um, because emulator, uh, to show you guys an example, let's see, where is it? Aeon, concept art, characters. This is one of the characters. I'm not following you. Well, thank you for the follow. Mo <laughs> God, Mahalawi, I have a terrible time pronouncing that username. <laughs> Um, this is one of the concept arts. We were working on a different concept art earlier today. And the actual in-game pixel art is, will look like, where is it? Is, this, is it this one? Yes. It looks like this. <laughs> I mean, it's going to be much bigger than that. But I can't zoom in on this graphics program without making it super blurry. Because <laughs> the characters are going to be about this size, but... Oh, there you go. You can sort of see Garrus a little bit more. He's that smudge of gray behind Tally. <laughs> uh, left. There we go. Click, click. Four hundred. There we go. This is what this is what the pixel art style looks like. I'm just doing a puzzle for the FN. Very SNES era, like yes. It's supposed to be very SNES era, sort of. It's complicated. But anyway, back to what I was actually doing. <laughs> oh no, the audio glitch! <laughs> Cover your ears, chat, before it's too late! <laughs> It'll go away in a minute. There we go. <laughs> I still haven't figured out why it does that. Um, it only does that when I pause the emulation and then start the emulation again. <laughs> I warned you guys! Um, it only does that with this game and only when I pause emulation. And I don't know why. Okay, how the hell... Chat, for those who know this game better than me, how the hell am I supposed to get back to the Millennial Fair? Like... Take Hecran Cave? Hecran Cave goes to the Millennial Fair? I was just in here! Is there like a secret passage that goes underneath the water or something that I missed? Now that I think about it, I should probably turn off the widescreen hack for this game. I'll do that next time. It might be messing with some of the... The whirlpool gets you back to the mainland. What whirlpool? What whirlpool? Oh, hey, I missed this. Gimme. Give! Thank you. What the hell are you talking about? I didn't ride any whirlpool. I have no idea what you're talking about, Duke. <laughs> I don't remember riding a whirlpool at any point. Okay, this is where I fought the boss. Uh oh. I didn't realize there was something behind him. <laughs> I didn't realize there was something behind the boss. I mean, that makes sense. What the hell? <laughs>
Oh, this fucking millennial fair. Which one am I supposed to be using? So the one in the forest? It wants me to go back to 400 years ago, so it wants me to go back to 600. Therefore... It's gonna be the one in the forest behind the Millennial Fair. Not the one that's up here. Right? Or is it this one? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I fucking don't. Oh, um, okay. Cool. Well, 600 years ago, or 600 AD would be 400 years before 1000 AD, obviously, so maybe it's this one. I'm collecting portals. <laughs> okay. I remember this. Yeah. I remember this. We have to go stop this Magus guy. Bruh, do you know who I am? <laughs> I'm your worst nightmare. I did Dragon Blade. Yeah, I have magic unlocked. I don't have magic unlocked for Luca. I only have it unlocked for Chrono and Marl right now because I have Robo in the party, not Luca. You kind of annoying after a while. Yeah, I get it. I like the way Earthbound um did it. I wish this game did um work sort of like Earthbound, where if you get into a fight and you're way too over leveled for whatever you're fighting. We'll just go, oh, hell no. Nah. <laughs> and end the fight. I'm assuming I have to go this way. Stop. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I'm sounding in the battle zone before it ends. Yep. The Russian friends. Like, yeah, castle arrived yet. Ships are locked in battle at the center of this bridge. May we emerge victorious. Okay. Oh, God. Sisohan. Shishohan. Shishohan. There we go. I speak Japanese, I should be able to say that better. Um, Shishohan is followed. Welcome to the stream. Okay. I'm in the right time period. So I assume, oh wait. Fuck. Cause my first thought is, oh, I can take the same whirlpool, but it's over there. I'll go talk to the king and queen, maybe they know. She Shohan, yeah, she Shohan. And I know that's how it's pronounced, it's just the first time I said it, I fucked up. Because I do speak Japanese and it just had a brain moment. She Shohan, no, it's She Shohan. Blame my Pacific Northwest accent. Halt! Who goes there? Sup, bruh? Oh, it's you again. Sup, bruh?
Sir Crono, the legendary hero, has finally appeared. This is where I'm going to go to meet the king. Um, what? Jacques? <laughs> Fine. This seems like a bad idea. Bum, ba, ba, da, ba, bum, 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 ba, da, bum. Oh, hi, Queenie. Cirrus must have sent the boy to us. What? It's like Queen Lean will also succumb. For what? Wait, but if Lean dies, then Marl dies! Fuck. Succumb to what?! Duke, where am I going now? <laughs> I know I'm in the right time period. Oh, it's you again. Please enter. Yep. Mm. Okay, nothing in here. So this is the queen's tower and the other one is the king's tower. So the guy in the bed is the king. But then where's this legendary hero they're talking about? Talk to chef? What chef? Uh, uh, I think I vaguely maybe remember where a kitchen was. Or like down here or something. Talk to Chef Ramsay. <laughs> what the hell's going on? What the hell? Everybody is dying. You need jerky. What do you mean I need jerky? Where would I get jerky? Are they having a- so they're having a food shortage? Okay, here's a kitchen. Bruh. What? My brother? He's- the ones fighting for your country. Hey! Stop bickering. Grow up. What? Pipe down. What do you know? I don't get it. What's going on? Men are such fools. What's going on? <laughs> Explain to me what the fuck's going on. Wait. Okay. Hi. Dot dot dot. Take this with you. What? Okay. Tell that fool. They better come back alive. You have the power! Yep. So do I give it to the king or do I go to the bridge? I swear to God, if Chrono pulls some... Jesus makes a bajillion jerky out of one jerky bullshit. I swear to God. Okay, go to the bridge. Oh God. I was just confused because like everybody looks like they're dying in the castle. Like, did everyone get poisoned? Or are they just hungry? <laughs> Man, I'm very good at messing stuff. <laughs> I excel at it. Oh, there you go. You guys can see Garrus now.
a silly bunny. Who the fuck was- Oh, we're going back to the birds. Okay. I'm gonna my master, but why are they just sitting in the castle then? Like. Oh, wait, it was all like the infirmary area? We're just leaving bodies everywhere. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know, man. It's the cryo! Is that for us? Yeah. Food rations! I give you one jerky. <laughs> Bruh. Bro, I give you one jerky. Hmm. Give my, my brother the five thanks. Bro. What is going on here? Uh-oh. Mega shapes have launched an attack. They're breaking through our defenses. Stop sniveling and shame the knights of the square table. Hmm. We shall destroy Magus's troops and honor, bring honor to our king. But we are far outnumbered. This is our last line of defense. We must let no one through. Understood. I. Oh, I can move. <laughs> Goddamn right I will. I got a golden helmet. <laughs> must be must be heck moving around. It's fine. You just get a bunch of bruises on your shin. Okay, it doesn't matter. Actually, hold that thought. <laughs> I'ma save first. Hold that thought, I'ma save. Dun 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 Okay. Now let's go beat the shit out of a bridge. I was like, it seems like I'm gonna get into a fight here, so I might as well save. <laughs> a little bit of saving. I love the battle music in this game. Love it. Come at me, breath. I'ma get you. What's up, breath? Oh, hi, Piccolo. <laughs> get it? Because of the, the artist of the game. I'm Ozzy, Magus's top general. Those who dare defy Magus have to answer to me. Yes, my children, give him a taste of doom. I, or I'll just murder you. I'm good at that. I'm good at murdering. I like it. It's fun. Don't know if that'll work or not. Or these guys are gonna be resistant to physical attacks. What? The prime quality for JRPG or antagonist protagonist. I mean, yes. you are correct. Okay, so I need to use magic. Got it. on this guy. Oh shit! I can physical attack him. Oh no, wait, I just did I just one shot him? I eat. Oh, is the wimps are stronger than I thought. Come at me, bruh. I ain't done with you yet. Oh, come at me. No, I'ma get you. Bruh. Bruh! Come here. Wait up already. Seems I misjudged you. I won't do that twice. 
one punch to be back. Yep. Grr, you're through! Yeah, I might as well just use magic. You know what? I should have brought Luca instead of <laughs> At least I can use Robo as a main healer right now. Little, 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 and the um, fight music that makes me really happy. Little, 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 little. This game scales with you, then I've nowhere because of your because I'm Yep. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it to happen. Leave Chrono alone. <laughs> You're rude. Or you'll be sorry. I. Uh oh! Stop, bruh. Stop. <laughs> uh. Go, Zambor! Crush the Magus' enemies! Skeletor's third cousin. Yes, this is correct. Did that just heal him? Okay, no ice. Got it. I'll just keep using Rocket Punch. It's the skeleton from the opening movie, is it? There's two um, places I can hit. Okay. <laughs> Looks better then. Yep. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Somebody's trying. Work. What the fuck, Marl? <laughs> you guys didn't see it, but I just used an attack called Provoke, and Marl tur spins around and pats her butt. <laughs> Woman. <laughs> Yeah, 
I'll just keep using Rocket Punch. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, shit. Wait, it can float? <laughs> Your Q is bad. Bro, that was rude. Normal food is good. Wait, what? Yep. I don't have to make sense. <sighs> what? <laughs> so I should just jump physical attacks the entire time. Cool. The fuck was the point of that, bro? Hmm. Let me guess, the general ran away. Oh, hey, look, the general ran away. So brave. We held the bridge, but I must be different magas. This is an empty victory. Oh, okay. What's up, bruh? Well, what can I do for you? you not get killed by the by the by the demon army Bruh. he's probably a demon that's what I'm going with wait for you to finish the battle I tell you, get you into the fight? No. Yeah, true. See, I was expecting Chrono to pull some Jesus shit and, like, somehow multiply the jerky. To find the mythical rainbow shell. You have some fun money. We're counting on you, Toma. Two. Because I'm, like, the mythical explorer. Good match, eh, Chief? What? We're waiting for good news. I said, I'll grab a bite before I go. The hero has come! He's strong and he's gonna thrash those monsters! Mm. Let me guess. Let me guess, you guys. Is it a mistake to trust him? We're gonna do everything. We're gonna defeat Magus, and this hero guy's gonna get all the credit. What do you want to bet? <laughs> gonna be Hercule all over again. Ooh, a thing. It's locked. Damn it! Then we murder him. Then we murder Magus! <laughs> With extreme prejudice. <laughs> it's another side story with him. Chrono is not like a um, like family. Like, what if smashed that console? I mean, you're not wrong. Don't mind me, lady. I'm just in here stealing your shit. My husband Marco hasn't returned from the war. 
These words mean a lot to us, so I'll guard them until he returns. Yeah, uh, lady, he's probably dead. Bet you anything he did. He hella dead. Jeebus. So many places to explore. Okay. I don't need it. I don't need it in right now. <laughs> you can enjoy grade 8 16 bit musical scoring. Accurate. It is. This is some good music. <laughs> I will give it that. I want to get the soundtrack for it. To go with all of my Final Fantasy soundtracks and stuff. The Brave Hero. That's for my side of the family. <laughs> This is just a copy paste of the other. <gasps> it's those mysterious chests again. <laughs> It's the spoopy, mysterious chests. Stupid, spoopy, mysterious chesticles. That's just a copy-paste of the other area we found up there, isn't it? Yeah, this was 16 bit of the sound clip. The sound chip was apparently 8-bit. Well, I don't know about this version, though, because you have to remember, this isn't the SNES version of the game. This is the PlayStation version. So the muse or the sound could have very well been a higher bit rate or been a higher bit. Because if I remember correctly, the PlayStation One was a. I can't remember if it was sixteen bit or thirty-two bit. I think it was thirty-two bit. Wait, did I? Oh, I hit circle. God damn it. <laughs> I'm so used to hitting circle for confirm because of Zeno Saga. Fucking Zeno Saga. Because it's that time, you guys. It's time for me to end the stream. Because I gotta go record some Zeno Saga for YouTube. Among other things. Okay. And the music is gone! <laughs> So the next stream is going to be on Monday, and it's going to be Hollow Knight, hopefully, and I'm going to finish it again, hopefully, because I feel like we're really close. Um, so hopefully I'll be finishing it. Okay, let's raid. Let's raid Molly. Molly's streaming. We'll raid Molly. Good night. So everybody go say hi to Molly. And I will see you guys at, on Monday at, remember, 3 p.m. Because I switched the uh, Monday and Tuesday streams from 6 p.m. to 3 p.m. I'm thinking about switching 